So Halloween is right around the corner, and I took it upon myself to search for a horrific and disturbing level to really fit the mood. And it turns out that there's a, a ton of those kind of levels. But I think I found the perfect one for this video. It's known as the Flesh Rooms to wanderers in the back rooms, and it's a horrible expanse of skin and tissue and saliva and bones that spreads out forever with some very strange secrets that I, I still don't understand. But I think it's gonna be a good video. Sit back and relax, grab your bucket of candy, and let's get in to the explanation, shall we? So the Flesh Rooms is a level that popped up a few months ago, and it's one that we don't really know too much about. There's not even a classification for it, so I've taken it upon myself to give it a class 4 difficulty for its strange environment, dangerous properties, and it just overall being disgusting. We have no idea where the level is, especially in relation to other backrooms levels, but since it's so strange, I'm gonna guess that it's an enigmatic or negative level. The flesh rooms themselves takes the appearance of a disgusting, undulating, moving labyrinth of muscle tissue and fluid. There are two known parts to the level so far, and I'll be going over them in this video. You can check the timestamps if you want to skip to both of them. But the level as a whole has been described as grotesque, absolutely nasty, smelling of rot and iron, and all the surfaces being covered with a corrosive, thick, slimy saliva type substance. The saliva itself actually has a ton of weird properties that I'll touch on later, but the rest of the level is very hard to walk around and explore, and this is mainly due to its random drop-offs, huge caverns and hallways and walls that dead end, and it's a crazy thing. We'll get into it all. The floor is also very slippery, and you could literally just lose your footing and slip down a 400 foot tall drop without even knowing. But let's get right into the different parts of the level. So the first part of the level is the very beginning. It doesn't really have a nickname, so I'm just gonna call it the beginning. This area has a very strange boxy square appearance to it. It has no visible roof, and what looks to be a black void is the roof or what's above the walls. Now, theoretically, you could actually climb over the walls and jump into different hallways if you really wanted to, since the walls are just around 10 feet tall and there's no ceiling, but good luck with that. I don't know why you would. You're not Spider-Man, bro. Anyways, this first part literally looks two-dimensional, and what I mean by that is that it literally doesn't look like it has any depth. It looks like you're walking on a flat surface, but there's like the image of textures of flesh on it. When you walk around, you'll still sink down into the flesh and it'll make noises like squishing and stuff that you think it would make, but it still looks two dimensional. Now this part is actually typically the safer area in the level since there isn't as many drop offs and not as many cliffs or tunnels that you can fall into. But after you walk for long enough here, you'll eventually see all that stuff anyway, so don't get used to it. This first area is devoid of any other sounds except the footsteps of whoever's walking on it. There's no gurgling, no vibrating. It's eerily calm and still. Now, as far as its 2D appearance, we're really not sure what to make of it. It's kind of like level 998 or Zenith's clouds, where they look 3D, but they're actually 2D. So somehow this flesh looks 3D, but it's 2D. We don't know. The saliva here in this part has the consistency of jello, or in some cases, pudding. And it's a lukewarm temperature to the touch, but you shouldn't touch it, of course. And after walking through these 2D flesh halls for long enough, you'll eventually find the chasm type area that leads on to the next part of the level. And this chasm type area is where everything opens up and there are huge caverns and drop offs and this is where everything gets really dicey, so buckle up. Like seriously, you probably should buckle up. This second area is known for its very volatile environment. It takes the appearance of cramped tube shape hallways. These hallways, unlike the first part, are not 2D, they are very 3D. Trust me, let me, let me tell you. They constantly are shaking and bouncing around, saliva's dripping off the walls and pooling on the floor, and it's all just this nasty moving mess. It's in this area where you'll have a hard time even just walking around, since the entire thing is shaking and moving, you might not even be able to stand up. Like, it's literally that hard. The deeper you get into these tubes, the smaller some of the passages get. To the point where you literally might have to get on your stomach to crawl around to get to the next chamber. Which, of course, I wouldn't recommend doing, but you might have to. The really deadly part about this area is that the hallway's positioning and just like normalcy is not consistent. 
That's right, the hallways move. Like they can twist and contort and flip on their own. So you could just be standing there semi-flat looking straight down the hallway and then out of nowhere the entire hallway tube thing that you're in will go straight up throwing you down to the bottom we don't know why it happens there are theories i'll talk about them later now in this second area where these tubes are you'll be able to hear faint gurgling and swallowing sounds echoing from deep within the level and when the hallways flip around and they start to shake the gurgling and the sounds will grow louder this area is extremely dangerous and it needs to be avoided if at all possible Unless for some reason you like walking through intestines. So the saliva that's coating the halls and the walls and everything in this part is very strange in and of itself. It seems to be a very corrosive liquid and in fact it'll give you a burning sensation when you touch it or leave it on your skin. The pain isn't too bad after just touching it, but repeated exposure can be very, very painful. The real strange effect, however, is that it kind of acts as a hallucinogen, or a toxin, which can seemingly trick any wanderer's brain into thinking that they're not in danger, and they could just keep walking into this labyrinth forever. Typically, these effects will not happen unless someone falls or is knocked down or rolls around in the saliva, because it doesn't really affect people who just barely touch it. But if you get a ton of it on you, you need to pour almond water over it to fight against the effects, and you should be okay. If not, the toxin will convince you to walk even deeper into the level. Lurking in this deeper area are a few things. Smilers have been spotted here in these cramped hallways. Things like crawlers have been seen. Liquid pain pools have been seen as well and other things like that. But there's actually something else that plays a way more dangerous role in the level. It's an entity that takes the appearance of a tongue-shaped appendage and it seemingly scours the hallways, knocking people deeper into the level. Some people think that this tongue thing is responsible for the hallways in the second part, being able to shift and move and flip and shake. Some people think that all happens by accident. We don't know. Whatever it is, it's extremely an unknown entity and an enigmatic one. We don't really have any details about it. All we do know is that it's been seen only in the second area and that it attacks people. So play it safe and do not go down there. Unless you have saliva all over you and it's making you, don't go down there. So to enter the level, you have to eat one of those meat pies on level 67 and you'll wake up here in this 2D area. So that's good that it's not an easy level to get to, so you don't have to really worry about getting sent accidentally here. If you want to leave the level before you get lost in these fleshy tubes, then you'll need to find a pool of liquid pain somewhere on the ground in the first part, and then you have to jump into it. These pools are typically located like kind of deeper into that 2D part of the level, so if you find one, nosedive right into it, and you'll be sent to the hub level. Now the pain will hurt, you know, momentarily, because you literally just jumped into a vat of it, but it's much better than being thrown into a flesh cave and being digested, obviously. There are no colonies, no outposts, or anything like that, since no one wants to live inside of flesh tunnels. But you might run across a decomposing wanderer or two. That's just a common thing, I guess. Theories on what these hallways are and these caverns are range from it being a giant creature to it being the core of the backrooms itself. And this is where it gets its energy from consuming people to it all being a hallucination caused by the saliva. We really don't know. Me personally, I think it sounds a lot like the hive level, if you know what that one is, I made a video on it, but essentially all entities come from that hive level. This one's very similar to that, except this one's somehow worse. I don't know how, but it is. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. This one was disgusting, and I think it was a perfect Halloween week one. Thank y'all so much for watching the video. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure to uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, and comment down below what other levels you want me to go over, and what other things you want me to see. I got more stuff cooking up towards the end of the year. Of course, Brugmas is on its way yet again for the third year. The third Brugmas is coming. Can you believe that? If you're hyped for that, leave a like. Let me know what you want to see. Thank you all so much for all the support you give me. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.